A previous video showed how to use sweep functions to automatically change attributes at the start of each cycle. Now some attributes are not very musical when they sweep through consecutive values, especially over large ranges. So sweep tables solve this problem by using values from predefined lists. And this opens up the possibility of sweeping more attributes, such as force to scale or force to notes. Now just like normal sweeps, you can apply tables to any combination of sequences, or even the live output. Now to apply them, you get to the point where you would normally enter an attribute value, such as velocity 5, and instead of pressing the one or two way sweep function, followed by the start and end points, you press the sweep table function, followed by the table number. So let's look at the sweep tables for tempo. Now this example shows table 1 has already been filled in with three tempo values and tables 2 and 3 are empty. When a sweep table is applied to a sequence, these values take effect one after the other, changing at cycle boundaries. And when the last value has taken effect, the list starts again from the beginning. And table 1 has three values so this repeats every three cycles. Now the accompanying video shows some examples of using sweep tables, but this video shows how to create them. Now as with other settings such as drum and bass patterns, you can do all this offline by editing the configuration file. But the more spontaneous and fun way is on the fly using standard command sequences from the music keyboard. So how do we create new tables? The command sequence is similar to applying a sweep table. You press command, tempo, sweep table. And just before you press one of the digit functions, 1 to 9, to apply the required table, press the sweep table function instead and you're now in edit mode. You can now press the digit for the table number and that table becomes the target for editing. So let's create tempo table number two. The current table contents are shown underneath the input line. This one is blank so we know the table is currently unused. Now in edit mode all attribute values which in this case are tempo beats per minute values, are appended to the table instead of controlling Sequitron directly. So there's no timing to worry about. Just enter the three or five digit BPM values as normal and you'll see them appear below the input line. If you repeat a value, the entry is shown with a repeat multiplier. If you make a mistake, press the escape function to remove the last value entered. Now there's limited room on this display, but you can also see the changes in the sweep table subwindow, which can be stretched as required. When you're finished, just press the sweep table function again, and you're back to live mode. In this example, the sweep table subwindows are set to pop up and disappear automatically on demand, so we can use the view menu to review the changes. I'll show a more interactive way later. All the other attributes are handled the same way. Here's velocity. Press the sweep table function twice to enter edit mode. We'll create velocity table number two, but this time the line below the input reminds us there are existing values, and these will be overwritten when the first value is entered. So if you chose the wrong table, you can immediately press the sweep table function again or the escape function to exit with no harm done. Now if you've noticed we're entering single digits this time as opposed to three digits for the tempo example and this is because the values are exactly the same as when driving Sequitron normally. The velocity values use a single digit 
channel numbers need two digits, program change numbers need three digits, and so on. And one last thing, the more interactive way of previewing tables, if they're hidden by the auto pop-up system, just start a sweep table command sequence to show the window, then press escape to cancel. OK, that's it. Hope that's given you a flavour of sweep tables. You can apply them in many combinations, the same table to different sequences, or different tables to the same sequence, and so on. And if you've not already done so, have a look at the accompanying video to see a few examples of velocity and scale tables in action. Thanks for watching.